from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Oh, hello! You must want to see my cold fusion reactor. Alright, so right here, I have my Variac, which is 2,000 watts. It puts up to 250 volts, and its current is rated for 8 amps max. This is my bridge rectifier right here, which converts my AC current to a DC current. And it is also rated for 400 volts and up to 40 amps. And this right here is my actual reactor vessel, which is already cooking. I have a center electrode right here, which is my cathode. And then I have my anode right here, in which the positive current goes from this into my electrode and then back to the variac to complete the circuit. Exciting. The thing is, is that I'm going to run such a high voltage through this thing that it's going to go through electrolysis with the water, and then it's going to ionize the hydrogen gas, and then eventually it's going to give the hydrogen protons enough energy to collide and fuse into helium atoms, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. What you're going to see is the sun in this little tiny jar right here. It's going to be pretty exciting. This is cold fusion, so I hope you guys like it. Jay, kill the lights! Alright, so what you're seeing right now is the very start of the reaction. It's just the plasma electrolysis and all it is doing is converting the hydrogen gas into just hydrogen protons. It's ionizing the gas and it's also burning it in the process because there's a lot of heat. So I'm just going to crank it up real quick. So now we have a, a more violent plasma electrolysis right here, but we still don't have any kind of fusion. It's just plasma electrolysis. Nothing special. Nothing at all. Just nothing at all. Alright, so I'm going to crank it up. And if you watch carefully, once it turns white, you will see the reaction stabilize and turn into cold fusion. We're going to be producing helium atoms from hydrogen ions. right there and now we are producing helium atoms. So if you wanna want me to get a roundabout. If you listen, if you notice the noise, it is now stabilized, it doesn't produce the violent whirring, and my variac has less load on it than before. So this is supplying a heavy amount of energy or at least producing enough to take the load off the uh, variac. And this reaction will continue until my electrode burns up and there's nothing left. Clean, safe, renewable energy, right here in a pickle jar. What do you think about that, dude? Ruled by reason? Ruled by reason. But what is reason? It's just my philosophy on life. Uh, that sounds pretty unreasonable. <laughs>